Yo, what is up, people? Whoop, whoop. So, today is the fight. The Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Team Mayweather, Team Pacquiao. Who will win? Who will rule the world? It's funny, because I'm gonna go watch the fight at Michael Jai White's house, right? Which is super random. Um, if you don't know who Michael Jai White is, I'm sure most of my subscribers do. Uh, he is a martial artist. He's been uh, plenty of movies. He's been an actor, well-known actor. And he's also, if you're, I guess, an, of newer age, uh, a millennial, he is the voice and character who plays Black Dynamite in the cartoon, in the movie, and all that. Um, but he's just all around dope dude, martial artist. He's been in plenty of stuff. And it's just funny because I have a story. The other day I got locked into a, a, a thread, a text, a text group conversation with my cousin Ronnie. Um, my friend, my, Ronnie's friend Chris, or my friend as well from high school, uh, David, who we all know, uh, Paul, and me. Paul didn't really, uh, didn't really uh, uh, join or bring anything to the combo, but the conversation went a little like this. Ronnie sent us something about, I guess, Marvel doing something and whatever. And then we all just started talking about random stuff. So out of nowhere, Chris, our friend, says, where are you guys watching the fight at? And I think some of us were like, I don't know, not sure, man, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, well, I'm going to Michael Jai White's house. <laughs> and like, the funny thing about that was, as soon as I heard it, I didn't really reply rudely in the in the text conversation. I just the first thing I thought to myself was like, "Dude, you do not know Michael Jai White." <laughs> and before I could even text anything else, Ronnie, Ronnie did what I was thinking of doing, and Ronnie was like, "You know him?" And uh, <laughs> and then uh, Chris was like, "I don't really know him." but I met him <laughs> and David jumped in the conversation was like, yeah, dog, I'm gonna go too. <laughs> he was like, Chris and I are going to Michael John White's uh, party. And I'm like, all right, guys, cool. But me, you know, being me who I am, I mean, Chris said, Chris said in the end that he said the reason he's going is because his dad's friend, who's an actor who's worked with Michael Jai White invited them. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That makes more sense. I just told them up front, yo, Dave and Chris, do not crash this dude's house party, dude. Do not be those guys who walk into the house and they're like, and then Michael Jai White's like, hey man, who are you? In his black di black dynamite voice. And then he, they're like, uh, we're Chris and David. And then he's like, who's sweet? <laughs> and he fucking gives them both roundhouses and kicks them out of the house, Uncle Phil style, because they're not supposed to be there. But hey, whatever, man. I just thought it's just very funny because ironically today, my friend Gabriel, you guys know Gabe. He's been in some of my vlogs. He was in my last one. We went to the movies. He randomly texted me and Paul today and said, yo, I'm going to Michael Jai White's house for the freaking Mayweather fight. And I'm like, no freaking way, dude. That is so ironic, so coincidental. And then... The funny thing is that I know for a fact David isn't going to Michael Jai White's house. I think Chris isn't going, but I'm not sure because he hasn't texted any of us back. He might be up there right now and tried to hide it because he didn't want to. He didn't want to make us feel bad or something stupid. But it's just funny because like I told Gabe, I was like, "Yo, if you could invite me to that Michael Jai White thing, that would be so funny." Because then I could take a selfie with Michael Jai White or whatever, or just vlog it. And then I could show them that I was there. <laughs> and they didn't make it. I don't know why. Maybe that's evil. But it sounded really funny to me. But yeah, it was just the fact that when we, when we called Chris out on it, and we were like, Chris, do you know Michael Jai White? He's like, he's like I've met him twice. <laughs> and we're like, dude, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean you know him. And then um, it was just really funny. Wow, I was in this neighborhood the other day and there's a poster over there with a clown mask. And look, it's only been like three days since I've been over here and it's already got graffiti on it. Pretty dope graffiti, but that's kind of messed up. But yeah, so I, I will let you guys know how Michael Jai White's house is. And uh, I guess that's where the vlog will continue. <laughs>
Yo, what's up people? So I didn't get a chance to really finish my story yesterday um, about the Michael Jai White thing, but it was hilarious, okay? So um, <laughs> we got there. I didn't want to film at his house, which would have been weird. But um, while I was there, while I was there, uh, I was there with my boy Gabe, we met him, and then I started texting my friends, and I was like, hey, guess where I'm at? And they're like, where? And I'm like, Michael Jai White's house. And then they were like, no way, bro, fake, blah, blah, blah. And I finally, like, ended up taking, like, pictures with him to show them. So it was just, it was just a sweet, awesome, hilarious joke in the end. Look at that picture. See that? It's on my Instagram, too. But, uh... Yeah, they were salty, dude. Super funny. Um, but now I'm out here kicking it uh, with my girlfriend, Pilar. She's inside here getting her pedicure, and I just got one. Yes, I just got one. I just got my feet done. Look at my feet. Can't really see my feet, but hey, they were pretty, though. Um, and now I'm kind of hungry, but I don't want to go grab something to eat without her. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes till she's done. So I'm just chilling on this corner looking at this this wing street, this pizza hut, and this construction. That it smells bomb though, I'm not gonna lie. The wing street over there, Pizza Hut smells bomb right now. There's another pizza place to the right of me too. I'm gonna have to get a piece of pizza. Um but yeah, I don't know. Every, everything other than that, I guess I'll just guys gotta keep you up to date with my day. <laughs> Yo, we Reno, childish Gambino in Reno, California. Yes, thank on ya. We driving down the street to get some lunch and feast. Me and my queen, we is beastie. Oh, believe me, I'm so cheesy when I like to go squeegees. Rapping all in, we trapping. Yeah, that's right, we like scrappy dogs, rascaling. I mean wrestling. I mean the best of them. I mean you gotta jump in the boat with the kin. That's how you get washed down and then you look up and your mama's like, don't be frowning. Go around and kick it back when you know you got the sounds in. Popeye drive through, that is delicious. Mmm, chicken. Chicken. Oh, dropping bars, hitting cars. That's right, going far, look at stars. Oops, that word almost got messed up, but it's okay, I switched it up. Brought it back and messed it up, dressed it up. Oh, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Finger licking. Oh! Killing the game, buy my mixtape. All right. So we're at one of our favorite restaurants getting some delicious food, and this girl's hair is blue. <laughs> it's, hold on. Yeah, it was like super, what's it called? It was like super white in the camera. So pretty. Yeah. She's got that blue hair going. It's cool. I want my hair, I'm gonna change my hair green like Joker. That'd be tight. I can make it blue. What about green? They don't have green. Oh no, there's a spray that's green. We can actually do that today. It's joking. I'm not doing that. I have an audition this week. I can't do that. It'll literally wash out. I'm not gonna put it in tonight to wash it out tomorrow. I don't Why? Why would I? I'm only, we're, going, we're not going anywhere special where anybody will see it. We're just gonna be sitting there with two two hair colored people. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you though. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so we're eating and you know. No, you sleep too late. Yeah, and super random today, we're over here and outside the window is William Shatner, aka the Priceline Negotiator, aka Captain Kirk, aka Ace. So, yeah. So he's over there, super random, he's with his family. I don't really want to point the camera on this route. So, yeah. Touching my belly. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, dinner, lunch time, breakfast, I don't know. Yo, so we are at Aikiki and... At where? The Aikiki Wax. So, we're... Wait, no. <laughs> we are. So, I'm at Ikea, right? She's a hater. Um, but we're looking at art in the little art area. 15? Yeah. That's kind of tight. Um, I think I might buy some art. I don't need it, but it looks tight, so I might just get it. Um, other than that, people, I have nothing to vlog about. I hope you guys are doing well. This week has been a good week, and see ya. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, the neighborhood, the neighborhood. Hey, guys, so I'm on my way to an audition. 
It's been a while since I've had an audition. This is for a commercial. I'm supposed to be a a um, delivery man, so I have the delivery man get up on. I have high socks and short shorts and a polo. So we're gonna try to see if we can get ourselves a commercial uh, out here in LA, but uh, should be fun. I might film the inside, we'll see. <laughs> well, we finished the audition. We're back in the car already. It's very basic. I just needed to pick up a box. I was playing a delivery man with this guy. We both uh, picked up the box on each end and then we um, moved it. And then we moved it back and we put it down. It was very simplistic. Only problem I have is the guy, he got a grip on the box earlier than me. So you know how you pick up a box off the floor, use your knees and all that, all that, not your back. I went down and tried to grab the bottom corner of the box, but I couldn't grab it in time and he had pulled his side up. So I had to grab the box on the side of it, you know, like I was like clamping it with my hands instead of holding it from the bottom. And I feel like if, I, I don't think that matters, but if like someone's technical, like how people are like on YouTube when they watch videos, if like the casting director's like, that guy doesn't know how to hold a box, then that's the only thing I'm thinking about. But I don't know, you gotta let it go as soon as you're done. And I'm, I'm good. I got YouTube videos to make, homie, but not that I don't like acting. I love acting, it's fun. Um. Besides that, I'm stuck in that young traffic though. Oh, thinking about going to get myself something at eight, but I need to actually get some groceries. Dun, dun, those to me, dun, 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 like groceries. Oh, so nasty. All right, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. So you all know that I'm supposed to be getting in shape, right? Right. Okay, so today is day one of that. I'm at the gym, and here's my plan. I'm going to try to do all the P90X programs from the most recent one all the way back to the original. We're going to see how that works. I doubt it'll get done, but we're going to get in shape. Cool. So I definitely forgot to film myself working out when I was in the gym, but I, I did pretty well. I played basketball, and I didn't do the P90 workout that I promised to myself I'd do because it's a cardio workout and I had played so much basketball back to back to back that I was like well I practically did three of those workouts because I did I did like I did like I think six to seven basketball games tonight and that's like I was sweating like a dog but I did do the abs after all that so I did the I did the P90 abs I felt good about it just now I was in the I was in the um, the, the bathroom um, the, 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 what do you call it? Like the gym, the gym room, the locker room. And these two old dudes were like, they were like the closest of bros. They were like face to face talking to each other and touching each other's faces. And I was like, okay. And they didn't look like, you know, they were into each other. It just, it just looked like they were just homies and they were just like telling each other some like stories. I was like, all right. I tried to film it, but I didn't get a chance to. I messed up. I messed up with my angle. Uh, I messed up with my angle and whatnot, but they were talking about some pretty deep stuff. But uh, yeah, I think I got it. I got it on on my my little camera, so I'm gonna see if I can put it on Vine uh, tomorrow, so or today, whenever I post it. it we'll see. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> but uh, yes, time to go home. Hey, so I'm not really sure if I ended this vlog, but um, I guess this is the end, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and favorite, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to try to keep it up. And wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep doing this consistently. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Bye.